Hi, this is Rita from Movie Spirit. As you can see, the whole butterfly here is created by the painting tool of Movie Spirit. Now we are going to introduce how to perform the painting with Movie Spirit. Tap on the plus icon to enter into the painting mode. Here we need to select the painting color firstly. Tap on the color icon and select the color you like. And you can find more colors by clicking on the drop down arrow here. Here you can scroll through the color bar with the slider to search for the color you like, or you can manually modify the parameters of the RGB color here. Once you find the color you want, you can click the plus icon in the lower left corner to add this color into the color list. The added custom color can be deleted by double clicking on it. What's more, Movie Spirit also have the suction tube to extra the color, as same as the Photoshop. To extra the color, just click on the suction tube and then move your finger across the screen to make the plus icon is in the color you want. The color will be displayed in the color list. You can click the plus icon to save it. Okay, except the single color, Movie Spirit also has the gradient color options. You can switch back and forth between these two options by clicking on the names here. As you can see, there are quite a lot of default gradient color list here, but you also can customize the gradient color as you need. Click on the drop down arrow here, and then you can manually adjust the color here. Please be note that you can press and hold on the dock to adjust the range effect of the gradient color. The number of points of the gradient color can be set from 2 to 7. And you can change the gradient color randomly by clicking here. Press and hold on the dock to adjust the range effect of the gradient color. OK, I have customized the color I like here. Let's see the output effect. It's better to display the output with the text here. As we can see, the colorful text has been created here. OK, next. Let me introduce all these new drawing assistant tools one by one here. The first one is text. The text added in the painting tool will be displayed as a picture instead of a text. We can modify the size, the font, and the border of the text as we need. To add more text, just tap on the screen with your finger. The text input box will be open. To delete or modify the edit text, it should be in selected status. Tap on this icon to enter into selecting mode. And then tap on the text to modify it or delete it. The second one is pictured. You can create a new picture by adding something to the original picture. Let's take this picture as example here. Tap on this shadow icon and we can add shadow effect with it. And this is the new created picture. Okay, let's continue to introduce the painting brush. In total, there are five different types of painting brush here. Please kindly be noted that the painting created with the painting brush here cannot be modified. It can only be removed with the undo button or be erased with the eraser. OK, let's go to the light tool. The first one is straight light. And it can be changed to dotted light by clicking this icon. The next one is arrow light. And the last one is curved line. Here the door on the line can be moved with the finger. Under the selected status, item can be deleted by clicking on the X button. To delete all this painting we have created, just need to tap on the trash bin icon. OK, the next one we are going to introduce is about the shape tools. In total, there are five types of different shapes we have here. One of the shape is hollow and the another one is solid. Let's draw a simple picture with the shape tools now. 
I just lent and select some shapes to create a picture with different colors here. Actually, you are free to use your imagination to create your own paintings here. Here, I would like to emphasize an important point that is when several pictures are overlapped together, how can we select the bottom one to modify? Firstly, tap this icon to change it to yellow, the selected status. And then click on the overlap part of the picture. They will switch back and forth to be in the selected status to be modified. Okay, the last one we are going to introduce is the pen tool and the lasso tool. With them, we can change the color of the specific part of a picture. For example, circle the chicken's cross comb with the pen tool and you can simply change the color of it. And we can also use the lasso tool to circle the mouth of the chicken to change its color. The blue and green dot in the loop can be adjusted as we need. Just click on the dot and move on the screen with your finger to adjust the loop. Okay, the last one I would like to show is how to draw the butterfly I showed at the beginning of the video. Here, I only use the circular tool to draw the whole body of the butterfly. Here you can follow me to perform the operation steps one by one and then you can master all the features of the painting tool quickly. As the patterns on both sides of the butterfly are the same, so I just click the copy function below to copy the pattern. Okay, the whole body part of the butterfly has been drawn. At last, we just need to use the curve tool to draw the antenna of the butterfly. Okay, we have finished introducing all the features of the painting tool. Thank you for listening. And in case you have any query, please feel free to contact us via the email. Bye-bye.